What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get Premiere Pro for free and also some of its alternatives, so stay tuned to know everything about it. To begin if you want to try Premiere Pro, Adobe offers a 7 day free trial where you can go to the website by clicking start on the free trial or on the top going to the free trial page and using it. This is a very good opportunity for you to discover Premiere Pro to know if you like it or no and if you want to purchase it in future or not. Also if you are a student or your teacher from Adobe website you can get up to 60% off from Premiere Pro. Additionally, if you are a university student, many of the universities including Cal State, to support a student academic success, they offer many software including Adobe Creative Cloud for free while you're a student. As you can see, in this university, you can get almost everything from Photoshop to Premiere Pro for free while you are a student. So definitely check with your university to see if they are offering something like this. Before we move on to premier alternatives, if you like this video or if this video helped you, please consider subscribing to our channel because it will help us create better content in future. The first alternative to Premiere Pro is Filmora. Filmora is a free and also a premium version software for video editing that offers many of the tools very similar to Premiere Pro and it is also very easier. We can try Filmora Premium or you can use the free version. They also included the ChatGPT AI where you can create AI videos. Another alternative to Premiere Pro is CapeCut. This software is a video editing tool which is similar to Premiere Pro but it is much easier and it is for non-professionals. If you want to use this website, you can use it online, you can use it for Windows or you can download it for Android or iOS on your phone. This video editing tool is very powerful and you can even use other people's template to create Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. At the end, if you are interested in Premiere Pro more than 7 days or if you are not a student, I really consider you getting the subscription and paying for it because it is worth it and it is better for the community. Overall, don't forget to like and subscribe, I hope this video helped you.